Hey everyone, it's Claire, and today we're going to be making an adorable DIY custom stuffed animal from a drawing. I'm going to start by tracing the body pattern of your design only onto a folded piece of fleece. And I just did the main design of the bird without the beak or any of the appendages. And then you're going to cut that out with a 1 4 inch hemline all the way around so that you will have two identical pieces. Then you're going to create the pattern for the extra appendages, in my case the wings, which you will also place onto folded fabric and you're going to just go around that with a pen and then cut it out with a 1 4 inch hemline as well just like you did with the body piece. And I went ahead and did the same thing with the beak which also has the 1 4 inch hemline and also the little feet of the bird. So you will have all of these details, including the eye, which I created out of felt. And you'll just match those up with the body piece just to see how it looks. And make sure that you have two pieces of everything. From here, you're going to go around and sew on the pen line of all of the appendages. So the wings, the beak, and the legs were the ones that I sewed. Remember to only sew on the pen line and leave that opening so that you can pull these things right side out and you'll be able to stuff them. I didn't stuff the wings very full because I just wanted them to be a little bit plush but not too full. And then you're going to go ahead with that little eye that you put from felt and just sew that up with a needle and thread like I'm doing here. And I also sewed a black line along the neckline just like in the drawing. And then we're going to go ahead and place our appendages on and put them inside the design of the body so that they are facing inward. For the second wing, which was much larger than the first one, I just put that off to the side. And then I just pinned all the way around, except I made sure that I was not going to sew that area where I would place the wing inside after. So from here, I went around and left that opening for the second larger wing, which I folded and placed inside. And then I sewed that to the rest of the design, but I also made sure to leave a hole at the bottom so that I could pull everything right side out. And of course, when you are making any stuffed animal design, you just want to make sure you have that hole so that you can stuff it and sew the hole closed and then you will be done.